So in Star Trek Voyager, uh, Season 4, I believe it was Episode 20, uh, it's revealed that over the past four years, Voyager has actually made it about 10,000 light years, when in Season 1 they basically said it would take them 70 plus years to get back home. At the rate that they've been going, uh, they should be back home in 28 years. Uh, they could probably make it back a little faster. <clears throat> um, but uh, there's a theory that the Borg and Federation actually have a secret alliance. And the more that I think about it, the more this is this appears to be true. Uh, basically, the theory was put forth about three weeks ago by a channel called Lore Reloaded. And uh, it basically goes that uh, Wolf 359 was an inside job. And that makes sense because all the ships there, all the ships that were destroyed there were, uh, you know, centuries old decades to centuries old uh and they didn't have very many of them there either then the person who carried out the attack of wolf 359 was captain picard uh a venerated uh starfleet captain <clears throat> and there's also a lot of really really unusual synchronicities between uh Events dealing with the Borg and events uh, with uh, Federation. And it really does seem as though the Federation is working with the Borg. The Borg... Uh, people may think that the Borg is too aggressive uh, to be working with the Federation. But if you pay close attention, the Borg struggles to assimilate even a single ship. They struggle, uh, you know, the uh, Intrepid class is not as phenomenal, not as fantastic as the Galaxy class. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yet the Borg struggled even taking on a damaged Intrepid class. So the Borg would benefit from an alliance with Starfleet, and I think they know that. The Borg also lacks creativity, which the uh, which the Federation has an abundance of. Um, <clears throat> you know, you think about it more and more, the Borg and the Federation are very much the same uh, sort of entity. Both deal with assimilation of culture and technology. Uh, it's just that they have different ways of doing this. Uh, Starfleet uh, assimilates cultures, Starfleet and the Federation assimilate cultures, peoples, and technologies uh, voluntarily, voluntarily, whereas the Borg, they just go and grab it up. Um, <clears throat> so really, they're, they're very similar. Uh, now, the, the Borg really fucked up when they came to uh, Species 8472. And that species, uh, you know, even though, uh, you know, there's theories about how uh, Voyager caused the issues between 8472 and the rest of the galaxy by, you know, being on board a Borg vessel while they were attacking uh, fluidic space. Um, I don't think so. I think that this is a legitimately evil species. You know, the, the thoughts that came through uh, were like, uh, everything needs to perish. Everything that is not us needs to perish. And, you know, there are, spe there are people and species like that. Um, <clears throat> the Borg may have antagonized them by, uh, you know, trying to assimilate them, but... They were really hateful. They really wanted to keep to themselves, have their own thing, and uh, you know, kill off everything that that is different. But they overwhelmed the Borg by a lot, and the Borg do not have the creativity necessary to fight them off. Uh, Starfleet, the Federation, does. So it. it <clears throat> 
makes a lot of sense. And uh, when it goes to, uh, you know, claiming that uh, the TV shows that we watch are basically just romanticized hollow novels, well, that, that makes a lot of sense. That explains why the, the higher-ups in, in Starfleet are so fucking stupid. You know, they, they make some of the dumbest decisions possible. And it's like, uh, the, the people who should be the most technically capable, the, the higher-ups of Starfleet, are the most simple-minded. But, uh, you know, a, a, a civilization like that would never work. They would never be able to maintain themselves. But if this was just a, a romanticized hollow novel that we're watching, uh, that would explain it. Because they, they want to portray a certain image, and they don't want it getting out that, uh, you know, the Starfleet higher-ups are masterminds who uh, are totally capable of, uh, you know, uh, perpetuating false flags like Wolf 359. But they are. <clears throat> no, it's just a very interesting theory, and it gets more and more true the more I think about it. Um, yeah, it's it's a good show, though. Uh, Voyager is really good. I like it. I've been binge-watching it for a while now. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.